need access to books? Epic! Miss Lolita can help. Email vmahamovic at rivercity.org to get your Epic account now. Have a great day, RCSA! Good morning, RCSA. Did you know RCSA Elementary's virtual school hours are 8 a.m. to 3 p.m.? Teachers are available during these hours to respond to dojo, dojo messages. And while our front office will be closed, the phones will be answered. We also have a parent support line available through email. You can email cblack at rivercitysigns.org to get questions answered or for extra support throughout this time of online education. My name is Persephone Grossbeck and today I'm here to talk to you about RCSA one-on-one -on -one assistance. Feeling overwhelmed? In need of some extra help with schoolwork? We're here for you. Introducing RCSA one-on-one -on -one assistance. Our paraprofessionals and resource teachers are now available for one-on-one -on -one appointments with students on assignments they may have trouble with, whether it be classwork, homework, online, or paper. Book your appointments now using the following link, https colon slash slash rcsa dot you can book me dot me slash. Devacharya, um, and welcome to Rocket News Science Corner during lockdown. Um, so today we are going to make air, our own water cycle. So what you're going to need is some hot water, um, a jar, um, a, a, an ice block or ice um, pack works, and a metal plate. Now. The first step is to pour this water into this jar. Next, place the steel plate on the jar. Now, what, as you can see, the water is um, condensing into, is, is evaporating into this, uh, into the top part. In forming a cloud. Now, in real life, the water site, the heat from the sun causes the water from the oceans and seas to evaporate and um, lift, rise to the sky, where it forms clouds as it condenses into back into water. And then, when the clouds get full, um, it pours every the clouds pour everything out. And that is what we call rain or precipitation. Now, now put place this ice block onto the plate and wait. Now, as you can see, the um, cloud at the top is evaporating into the water. As you, as the water at the bottom evaporates and goes to the top. It condenses and forms water droplets. As more and more water evaporates and goes to the top, it condenses and forms bigger water droplets. As you can see, there are some water droplets at the top that are waiting to fall back to the water, and the whole cycle will start over and will start over again. That's all for rocket. That's all for science corner. See you next week, RCSA. coronavirus or COVID-19. This is why I decided to show you an experiment about washing your hands. I'm not just going to show you me washing my hands. I'm going to show you that when we wash our hands, most of us don't wash them entirely. For this experiment, I have to use a special glow germ oil I'm going to put this glow germ oil on my hands, which is invisible, just like germs. When I shine this special light on my hands, the germs will light up. First, I am going to shine.
show you my hands without using the glow germ oil. As you can see, there is no glowing of the oil. Now let's put the oil. Rub it all over, just like soap. Now let's see how it looks under the light. As you can see, my hands are glowing white in the light. Now I'm going to quickly wash my hands and see if I can get all the oil off my hands. My hands look clean. Now let's see if they're actually clean in the light. Oh, I thought my hands were clean, but they're still white under the light. Which means that I haven't washed my hands entirely. Now I am going to show you how to wash your hands completely. First, you have to get your hands wet. Then, you have to put some soap and scrub it for 20 seconds, or you can sing your favorite verse from a song. You have to scrub in between your fingers to make sure you get all the germs up. Then, you get your hands wet again and wash the soap off. Now that I've washed my hands entirely, let's see how it looks under the light. As you all know, coronavirus is a very dangerous virus we do not want to catch it so please wash your hands <laughs>